Tonight, we're getting our first look at the new rocket and spaceship designed to fly the next man and first woman to the moon. News 6's James Barbero shows us the exciting new video of NASA's space launch system and Orion crew capsule. The mega rocket, even more powerful than Saturn V, is coming together at the Kennedy Space Center and also NASA's Space Center in Mississippi. On the Gulf Coast Saturday, the space launch system is scheduled for a major engine test. If successful, the core stage booster would then be transported to the vehicle assembly building, where its solid rocket boosters are being stacked right now. Everybody in the office is excited about where we're at right now. Space shuttle veteran Randy Bresnik and an operations manager say the SLS is still expected to fly its first uncrewed mission around the moon before the end of the year. Right now we have a plan laid out that gets us there and um, we're going to be pressing hard to, to make it. And while the boosters are being stacked, a few miles away at KSC, NASA says the SLS capsule, Orion, will be moved to another facility on Saturday and it could be integrated to the top of the rocket as early as June, followed by the rocket and capsule rolling out to the pad in the fall. And then we have about a month or two of work to do, final testing, before we head back out for launch. And if we can launch Artemis 1 to be the first human-rated vehicle to leave low Earth orbit since Apollo, then it's, it's going to be a good year. And by the year 2024, NASA still plans on SLS sending the astronauts to the moon. And Artemis 1 would become the first launch at Launch Pad 39B since 2009. At NASA's Kennedy Space Center, I'm James Sparvero, getting results news 6.